We're now going to define what a polynomial function is. And a polynomial function is a function that is equal to a polynomial. So all those polynomial expressions that we talked about before, if we set those equal to p of x, then we've got a polynomial function. So as an example, suppose that we have little p of x equals 4x squared minus 3x plus 6. So here's our polynomial function. Again, we know this is a polynomial function because it's got function notation. And the polynomial is 4x squared minus 3x plus 6. So we've got three terms. It's a trinomial. It's also a quadratic because it's highest powers of square. And all of our variables have positive exponents or aren't there at all. So now let's evaluate this polynomial function. So suppose I ask for p of 1. So what we get is wherever we see an x, we replace it with a 1. Oops, the square's part of the original. Minus 3 times 1. Notice the parentheses. I find this very helpful to make sure I'm keeping track of my pieces. Well, this becomes 4 times 1 squared is 1. Minus 3 times 1 plus 6. We get 4 minus 3 plus 6 is 7, which means we also have the input-output pair of 1, 7. Similarly, we could do this with p of minus 3. So wherever I see an x, I'm going to put a negative 3. 3 times a minus 3 plus 6, which is 4 times positive 9, and then minus 3 times minus 3 plus 6. 4 times 9 is 36. Minus 3 times minus 3 is a positive 9 plus 6. 45 plus 6 and 51, which means we have an input-output pair of minus 3, 51. So that's how we find polynomial functions. That's what a polynomial function is.